Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we're going to be taking a look at some useful car tech that I thought may be of interest to some of you out there, particularly car owners, people that are driving, which is probably the vast majority of you guys out there. And being that I am a tech enthusiast recently when I got my new car, some of the first things I needed to do was go out and get some things to help kind of spice it up a bit and just have some tech in there that can kind of help me out when I am out on long road trips. For the past week, I've actually been away for the Thanksgiving holiday and I was on a really long road trip down to South Carolina. I drove all the way there and back with my girlfriend and her son. So we had, you know, we really did uh, see a lot of benefit, particularly from some of the charges that we're going to be going over in this video. So the first thing we're actually going to do is take a look at the car charger here, which is from Aki. This was great because it has four ports in it, and this is only 15 bucks you can pick these up for over on Amazon. This was this really did kind of save us during the trip, especially, you know, needing to charge our phones for using GPS and things like that. Having the quick charge port as well really did, uh, really was super convenient for me, being that I was using GPS on my phone most of the time. If the battery was draining, I could just go ahead and pop it on the quick charge port and juice it up really, really fast. There are also three normal charging ports on here, which will charge at about half the speed of the quick charge port, which I found on the quick charge does about 1% per minute on my Samsung Galaxy. Galaxy S6 Edge, which is not known for having the most amazing battery. And I've also got some of the sleeved Aki um, micro USB cables. These are 3.3 feet long, and you can pick these up in two packs for $9. It comes with one gold and one black sleeved cable. I actually did, I actually liked having the gold cable on this because I would tend to leave that in the quick charge port so that I can quickly identify that when I was reaching for one of my cables in the, you know, the cigarette lighter port or whatever you want to call it. Not, I don't, no one really uses them for cigarette lighters anymore, do they? I don't think people actually smoke cigarettes anymore in 2016. At least I don't. But... I, since I have the, uh, you know, since I have it back there and I kind of have to reach behind my seat, having the gold cable is super convenient so I can just kind of spot that right away and plug it right into my Galaxy S6 Edge and I'm off and running. Now, another charging device that I have here is a power bank also from Aki, the same makers of the four port car charger. This is their 30,000 milliamp power bank, which is an absolute monster. You can get tons of charges off this thing. And it certainly saved our asses when we were out away from the car and didn't have access to the car charger. When we were walking around in the city or going around shopping and things and people needed to charge their phones. I was We were able to charge up to two devices at one time. So it wasn't just useful for me, but it was also useful for family members that were around and needed to charge their phones. We can just say, here you go. We've got, you know, we've got an extra power bank here. Go ahead and plug in. This also does have a fast charge port. And once again, just like the quick charge port in the car, I noticed about 1% per minute I could get on my Galaxy S6 Edge, which I believe has a, about a 2,500 milliamp uh, battery battery life, if I'm not mistaken. It's, around, it's right around 2,500, I'm pretty sure about that. You can pick up these power banks for $40. In addition to having the fast charge port and the normal charging port, it also has a flashlight built right into it, which is convenient if you ever need to kind of fish around and look for something, even though most of our phones kind of have flashlights now on them uh, nowadays anyway. At least you got it here on the charger. Maybe if your phone is completely dead and you need a flashlight, I don't know to find the uh, the charging port on your phone because you forgot where it was. And here you go. You got a flashlight, so that's built in there as well. They do include a short micro USB cable along with it, but if you need any other cables, like for an Apple device, or if you want a longer micro USB cable, then you can get that. Or you can even use lightning uh, lightning port on here if you want to go ahead and use that, but that is not included along with the power bank. The last piece of tech we're going to be looking at here is the Vantru X2 dash cam, which you can pick up right now at the time of me making this video for $170 over on Amazon. This is really one of the top tier dash cams out there that you can get. You can find ones out there for cheaper, but you're probably not going to find it with as good a quality as the Vantru X2, which is actually capable of doing not only 1080p, 60 FPS, which I personally like using for, I think with the motion of the cars going by, it was really nice watching the footage back in 60 FPS, but it can also do 1440p in HDR at 30 FPS. So sporting the 1440p HDR and the 1080 60 FPS, you're bound to find a resolution and frame rate that's going to be suitable for whatever your needs are. So if you're wanting to re maybe record stuff like road things for vlogs or whatever, then it will be very useful for that, whether you're shooting in the daytime or at nighttime, being that it has a 16 megapixel f1.8 aperture, which is going to be great for low light. So if you're out there driving around at nighttime, you're still going to be able to capture things like license plates and other details around you, um, which can be very useful, you know, if you get into a car accident or maybe someone cuts you off or whatever and you 
can or you see like maybe a hit and run you get this will be able to pick up their license plate as they speed past you so there's a lot of really great uses for having a dash cam mostly just you know getting an accident or uh, maybe proving yourself innocent if you ever were to get a ticket by the police for whatever reason um, there's a lot of good uses for a dash cam you can also even use this in a parking mode if you want to so it's triggered by motion detection so let's say you park your car you put it into parking mode and someone uh, you know rear ends you or hits the side of your side swipes you something like that this will pick up the motion detection and it will instantly start recording for a short period of time after the motion is detected. So it, it could be, you know, someone as simple as walking by or it can be someone actually hitting your car, maybe pulling off a hit and run. So you got to get the information from them, uh, you know, so that you can, you know, call the police and get that person, that person prosecuted for a hit and run and hopefully get your car repaired at their expense rather than your own. Uh, the size on this, pretty small. It's about the size of a Logitech uh, webcam. I've got the C922 at home. It's about the size of that. So you can just mount it right into your windshield with the included mount. Uh, it has a locking suction cup, so it stays in place very strong. I've never had an issue uh, with the suction mount falling on this at all. It's got a nice LCD display on here, 2.7 inches, which even does 60 FPS playback on the videos if you are recording in 60 frames per second. So really no complaints about the Vantrue X2 dash cam. Really love using it. It does come along with a car, uh, carport charger into the cigarette lighter. So you just plug that in over mini USB in there and you're off and running. And you can even do an HDMI out on this thing if you do want to go ahead and hook it up to a display. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please let me know your thoughts on everything we looked at here today in this car tech video. And if you have any other ideas uh, for pieces of car tech that maybe I can include in a future video, if you enjoyed this, you can let me know by leaving a like or a comment down below and subscribing if you're not already. And once again, any of the stuff that we are talking about here in this video, if you're interested in picking it up, I will leave a link down in the description below over to Amazon. But I'll catch you guys next time. Ta-ra.